Hello everyone, Big Man here. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be learning how to make laser guided missiles. Now as you can see, um, I've got the UC-25 up there. What I mean if we hop in here, aim our laser and uh, fire, you see that, well, we hit it. Obviously this is very much, it's still a bit sketchy um, because of laser sensors on secondary bodies aren't the greatest. And unfortunately that is not us, that is just Stormworks. Anyway, let's uh, let's learn how to make these so you can uh, well do just that. So first things first, you're going to want to start out with a platform like this. What we're going to do is we're going to get a velocity pivot and we're just going to put it right in the center. When looking above it downwards, make sure that it is rotating clockwise. Next, we're just going to get a block up to the side and we're going to put another velocity pivot and we're going to make it so that from looking from this side, the positive arrow is rotating any clockwise. Now what we're going to do is just Add a few blocks, gonna get a hard point connector, the body, and we're just gonna place it there. Might get a weight block just to you know, help weigh it down. Then we're gonna get a laser. I'm gonna put that there. And after that, really, it's just place a few blocks up to this side, get rid of them, get a control handle, and we're going to do trigger to our launched, look X to our base, look Y to the pitch, active, we can go to our one, let's just name that. So one laser trigger fire. There we go. We also need a battery. Place a battery down. Connect our electricity. All right. So that's our launching platform. That's that's all done. Okay. So now we can move on to the missile. Okay. So first things first. What we're gonna do? Get a velocity pivot. Put that there. Then we're gonna get a hard point connector, and just gonna use the attachment, the round attachment. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a microcontroller. I've just got a pre-made one by two here, and so we're just gonna get that. So later guy in missile, currently this has no logic, but make a one by two microcontroller, place it there. Next what we're gonna do is type in rocket and get solid rocket fuel, place that behind, solid rocket fuel fins, and place that there, and we're gonna have the fins exactly like this. With our positive, yes, with our positive rotating downwards, and then we're just gonna get a solid rocket fuel booster, place that at the end. I'm gonna put that at 35% burn rate, uh nice kind of low right fin vent influence, probably gonna put it about, yep, we'll do that. Uh, and let's change our ordnance type to a laser guided missile. Next, I'm just gonna get you to build two blocks in front, grab another rocket booster, put that there, make sure it's at 100% burn rate, sweet as, get a warhead, put that there, nice, get some fins. Now, notice how this has got the positive rotating anti-clockwise and on the side, positive rotating down. This time we're going to have positive rotating up and the, and the positive rotating clockwise. So complete opposite. Okay, now we're going to get a laser point sensor. Make sure that the arrows are rotating clockwise and essentially you'll know you've done it right if you've got them like that. Okay, make sure this infl fin influence is probably only, only about 40-50%. That's what I like. Impact threshold for your warhead. I put about 20 meters per second. 10 meters per second would usually be fine, but this booster here that gets the missile up to speed to compensate for the extreme length launches it past 10 meters per second in an instant and that blows it up instantly okay now we can set the logic so we're just going to hook our trigger up to everything and hook our electric up to everything make sure you've got the electric on the hub or connected body as well in terms of composite what we're going to do is we're going to go into a laser guided missile controller two logic nodes there we go composite in and composite out and we're gonna separate them. Next we're gonna do, get a read, two read numbers, channels one and two. And then we're gonna write channels one and two. The way I've done that is just single write and put the channel count to two. Nice and easy. We've got the composites and we're gonna get some functions. This function here for channel one, I'm gonna do minus X times. Now this can be any number you want. This changes the sensitivity of your missile. I tend to do three. And on the other one, I tend to do three as well. But instead of minus X, it's just a regular X. Write them into their respective channels. Update your microcontroller. Let's hook it up. So let's go to, so we've got our input and then we've got our output. Make sure our logic is connected. It is nice and easy. Now you can also put your laser distance sensor on infrared and keep in mind that if you do that the laser point sensor has to be like that as well which does mean that you know you can't see the missile where it's going to go because the laser you know it's still gonna it's it's gonna see it you're not gonna see the laser but the missile is gonna see the laser we're not gonna do that though let's just save this as our example yep make sure everything is correct i think i've started a forest fire that's okay 
But, uh, all right, here we go. So we're going to aim it. And three, two, one. Oh, look at that. And as you can see, yep, we have started forest fire. And this is three missile shots, but that one was just here. We go inside. Well, yeah, there's, uh, this would definitely sink. Uh, I do want to point out while I burn inside this thing and essentially becomes some fried chicken. I will just say that keep in mind that missiles like this, because of their minimum mass, like they've got a very low mass and very high velocity, they can glitch through things such as the ground, stuff like that. So keep that in mind when firing them. Other than that, um, hope you enjoyed and I will, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.